main thing is studying. One thing I, I know for a fact that young preachers do is they wait until it's time to preach to study. I'm not raising or training up that, that type of leader. I want us to be consistent in our study time. I want us to study daily, not just when we have to preach or when we have to do something um, in church or whatever, but I want us to make begin to make a habit of studying daily. I'm doing, I'm doing it myself. Um, I spend a lot of time listening to the to the Bible being being read through my Bible app, um, but lately the Lord has been impressing it upon me to read the words, and so I picked up the book more in the last few days, few weeks, because of the impression of the Spirit upon me. And so I'm going to encourage, as a matter of fact, I'm going to ask you to do the same. Don't just depend on technology. Um, so much so, but I really want you to read and I really want you to study. Uh, Timothy says to show thyself approved unto God. All right. A workman that needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. When you know that you can rightly divide the word, there is no room for shame. Only, the only time the enemy can bring shame upon you or upon us is when we know we haven't put the work in, in order to execute effectively. And so, um, I'm going to I'm going to be kind of like your pusher. I'm going to motivate you. I, I don't really want to call this like a boot camp or anything like that, but I'm not going to take it easy on you because this is a very serious matter. When you get up to um, stand before for people to, to do anything in the name of the Lord, I need you to understand that it is a very serious matter. Somebody's life could very well depend on what it is that comes out of your mouth. And so you're going to have to take this particular scripture and eat it day in and day out. It's got to become bone of your bone, flesh of your flesh. You gotta be sure and very sure that you are studying to show yourself approved and that you are rightly dividing the word, not the word of God, but the word of truth, which of course the word of God is the word of truth, all right? So we wanna make sure that we're doing that. Three rules for studying God's word. And I'm just gonna to talk to you tonight about studying because this is just, just again, our icebreaker. And this is um what, what's going to help us to get to that next place, all right? I'm looking at my, my lever here to make sure it's not gonna glitch. All right, three rules for studying God's word. Observation, what do I see? Interpretation, what does it mean? Application, how does it apply all right so when you're studying a scripture whatever passage of scripture it may be the first thing you want to do is observe what what, what you're reading all right you want to be able to interpret what, what 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 it is that you see so what does it mean what does it mean to study to show myself approved what does it mean to rightly divide the word of truth and then you want to apply it OK, it is no good for us to observe a scripture, to interpret the scripture, but not apply it to our lives. We cannot preach.